I think it's going to be a really exciting year for Balvo. Um, we've had a great recruitment this year. Um, we're, we've names like um, Aoife Dalton and Dan O'Brien are coming down to, this, to us this year. So that's really exciting. Um, We've also we've a great coaching setup. I mean, we've um, Tanya Rosser is joining us as a tack coach. Um, we've the same setup as last year in terms of our head coach is Johnny Garrett. So that's that's really excellent, and it means we can have some consistency in our approach. Um, so we're just really looking forward to building a really exciting attacking brand of rugby. So I mean, similar to last year, I think we're we're targeting a, a league and cup win. Obviously, there's a lot of work to go into that to get there, but I think that's our our main goal. Uh, I think the possibilities are endless for a week though, to be honest. Um, I think we're just going in charge and we're hungry for it this year after last season. A few tough matches last year, so hopefully we'll get a closer scoreline this year. Hopefully a lot of new caps this year as well. We have a pretty young team. Um, we still have a few veterans uh, around as well, so we can learn a lot from them. But um, yeah, I think we didn't finish where we wanted to last year, but I think we gained a lot of experience from that. So hopefully we can bring it forward for this year. We're hoping now just to continue our building. I said we're in the building phase of the club, um, a second year up. So we're hoping from last year to continue on that and the success of bringing the club into the senior status. We're aiming big. So so last season, like you said, we finished uh, at the top of the conference final um, and we did really, really well there. So we're, we're aiming to go up again. Uh, so kind of achieve what we achieved last year and then we're looking to break into that top four a little bit as well um, and, and see we can put it up to teams. Um, yeah, just kind of like aim high and see where, where we end up. For the season coming, I think anything is possible really, do you know, um, we've got to back ourselves and play our own game and one thing we're definitely aiming to do this season is bring home silverware to the West. So yeah, we've had like plenty of training, you know, over 30, 40 at every training session, sometimes more. So yeah, it's just great. It's just great buzz around camp. I think the possibilities is we're going to ruffle a few feathers that people aren't going to expect and I'm just going to say watch this space. Possibilities are endless. Never say never, never say you can't do anything. So we'll just see what it brings. But um, yeah, just a bit of bit of uh, confidence would be good. Um, and you know, a few points on Cook maybe, even better. <laughs> yeah, I think last year just showed what we were capable of. Um, I don't think it exceeded our expectations. It was what we all wanted to be. You want to be in the, the showpiece at the end of the season when it comes down to it. So we were delighted to be there. Obviously, the result didn't go our way on the night, but that's where we want to be. That's where you want to be pitching yourself. So this week, this season is the same. We're very much looking forward to the new season, but it's you know new format. Everyone you know has probably adjusted to life after COVID that bit more and kind of settled themselves into their team structures and kind of their development and their training. So we're expecting it to be firm. You know, tough opposition from everybody. Um, so we're under no illusions how tough the competition would be from all teams um, in the league. And yeah, we're just keen to hopefully go one better than last season.